Hi, hi. Uh, how are you? So, uh, welcome to our video tutorial. So, in this tutorial, we're going to develop a simple, uh, really, really simple game. Uh, it just uh, tries to guess numbers and uh, tries to match what the user guesses and what the system generates. So, we can give it a fixed number, like starting from 1 to 10. So, guess a number from 1 to 10. So the user guesses some number and uh, our system provides a button to ask the system to guess a number as well. So if the users and the system generated numbers are matched, then the system wins, the user wins. Otherwise, the system, the user loses. Okay, it's just a simple game. Uh, it implements a random number automation, a random number generation in Java. So let's try uh, to create a new project. New project. It's going to be a Java FX uh, desktop project. Number guessing game. Finish. So this will create uh, an empty project for us. So we'll design our interface first, and then we'll do our code. So we're going to have about three videos for this game. The, in the first video, right now, what we're going to do is just design the interface, just simple the user interface. In the second video, we'll try to, uh, uh, we'll actually write the code. And in the third final video, uh, we'll try some tweaking like bulletproofing our application like adding uh, try catch statements validations and something like that so let's go ahead and try that so first let's design our interface so what we are going to do is we're going to remove the or delete the default uh, code and add a new JFrame form uh, okay let's make it FRM player okay so our interface is going to be uh, going to provide two text boxes for inputs uh, for accepting input from the user like starting and ending points and starting and uh, ending numbers for the guessing game and uh, a couple of buttons and also a couple of other text boxes as well to accept uh, user input so let's put the controls accordingly so these two labels are going to just serve as a caption and those two text boxes are the ones that we accept the starting and ending point from our user so we'll have two buttons here the first one is to clear uh, the previously played uh, data and the second one is to actually guess numbers. Come on. Okay. There, we have two buttons. Now, another text box. Here, we expect the user to enter uh, a number here. As a guess. Okay, so this is our design, and now we are going to do something else uh, like adjusting the name and text fields. So, edit text. This is starting number, and here ending number. And here, uh, clear text boxes first. 
and then change the name so txt starting number sorry for the spelling errors and here txt ending number so for our buttons the text is going to be the first one is clear uh, gas and here the text is gas new number okay so the name has to be the first one btn clear and the second one btn gas so for this the label what we need is uh, first user guess so a user will enter his or her guess here and here the computer generated number is going to be set here let's empty the text fields first before going to change uh, variable names so the variable name here the xt user gas the xt computer gas there you go so this is our interface let's try to run our application sorry let's run our file so since it's the first time being run uh, it's being compiled it's going to take a few uh, seconds actually so after that we'll see our uh, game interface there you go there this is our form we enter 1 to 10 and when we click gas number computer number will be displayed here assume 3 and the user guesses 3 then the user wins but if the user guesses 4 and computer guesses 3 then the user loss so when I click uh, when we click clear guess both values are going to be cleared it's like new ga new game it's like uh, replay okay so this is our design in the next video we'll see uh, how to implement the code for the, our uh, two buttons uh, okay so I hope it's clear uh, for now uh, if you have any questions comments or suggestions please uh, leave us a comment in the comment section below uh, also make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel uh, so that you will get notifications on our upcoming videos thank you very much for watching